Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, Ray, thanks for joining us on today's video. You are looking at a future classic, and that's interesting you say to yourself, well, well, Fleming, how do you know that that's gonna be a future classic? Well, you're right, I don't know. As a matter of fact, I don't really know much about cars, but I do know this. I do know style, and I do know it looks good. And this car right here looks great. Like, look at the style of this thing. And these seems to be kind of hand-built, uh, beautifully detailed. They only built 3,000 of them. Keep in mind, they built hundreds of thousands of Eldorados, okay? This is the end of the run. All right, as uh, these cars became downsized and became much smaller and very significantly different as far as Cadillacs go. So as far as style and collectability, this is a really great car. And on top of it, this car here is beautifully done. First off, it's freshly repainted. It's had a rebuilt engine. It's had a rebuilt transmission. All the ancillary things work. It's just beautifully done. And uh, on top of it, it comes with receipts to back all of that up. Nice fresh tires on it, great radials. So let's talk a little bit about quality of paint and let's come on up here for a minute. We'll take this out here, okay? So they call this classic white. Classic white doesn't really show up as well as say maybe black might, but you can still see all the details of the words and things like that. You can see what time it is in the paint. Those are the kinds of things you should be looking for. This right here, very nicely done. A little bit of red pinstripe, just enough to pull the interior out of the car, okay? It's got that great Cadillac emblem that comes back up. All right, that egg crate grill. It's really nice styling. It's just, uh, matter of fact, this is tonight's ride home. We have Maseratis, Porsches, Jaguars, Ferraris, all that stuff here today. I'm gonna drive the 85 Eldorado home tonight because this right here is a cool car to take out with the family. So, um, and whether I'm going out with the family or, or just uh, the wife or just cruising, I mean, it's a really elegant looking car. Like, look at that, I'm smiling, getting all excited about it. But look at the style of it. It's really very cool. All right, so let's keep walking around the car for a minute. This is just some nice pieces here. You know, this is a styling piece added on the stainless trim. Gives it a little blockier stance. You know, the Rolls Royce was uh, probably the first to pioneer that big piece of trim like that. And it's got this great swept back look. This was, I believe, some great styling by General Motors at the time. We did upgrade the exhaust system, put a fresh dual exhaust system on it. It was time for an exhaust system, so uh, it definitely woke up the power a little bit. Uh, it still looks nice, it's still nice and quiet and rides great, but uh, it uh, just now flows a little bit better and just really looks nice underneath as well, okay? All right, so let's take a picture of the uh, underside of the hood in our own mind and see what that might say to us. Okay, so check this out. This is nice, and I'm gonna tell you why this is nice, because it's very easy to get to. This car's still front wheel drive, which is very nice here. You have the engine and transmission over the driving wheel, so all that power is like putting sand in the trunk of your car but the power and everything's already here over the driving wheels. It's a great all-weather car as well. We encourage you to drive these cars year-round. Maybe you don't want to drive it in the snow and what have you because you don't want to get it dirty, but it's a great winter car too. It has great climate control and what have you. Um, and this one here is fuel injected. It's four-wheel power disc brakes. It's fast ratio, luxury power steering, okay? Um, the radial tuned suspension. And inside it is loaded with accoutrements. Uh, just to make it uh, a supreme luxury car. The AC blows ice cold and it's climate control AC, meaning you program in the temperature you want, boom, and it takes over from there. So uh, I think this is really nicely detailed. It looks great under the hood. You could even, if you wanted to, take this car uh, to something like a car show. Okay? All right, cool. So this is actually really cool because I know this looks a little funky. That's a circa 1985 sticker. It's really actually very nice. But the trunk's all nice still. All the original carpeting is in here. Even the full, the uh, inflatable spare tire, which is actually already pre-inflated, so sorry, it's not an inflatable, it's a mini spare, is still in there as well. Cardboard lining's there. This is kind of cool. It has a, you can actually disengage uh, the release up front. Okay. All right, so. Let's move on to the inside of the car. All right, so when you get the Bear Ritz, you're getting the upgraded interior in these cars. These cars were very expensive for their time. I'm telling you, man, this is why this car is really cool. Like, check out the individual seating, each piece kind of molded uh, for four passengers. It's got seat pockets in the rear, but everything is kind of custom cut. The stereo's mounted inside here. Shoulder harnesses, if you wanted to, to use those, they couple with the other things there. But look how beautiful the interior is of this car on top of it. All right, so uh, as you move in, like you expect, you hear Cadillac and you hear about luxury and what have you, and like, what do you really get for all that? Okay, well, let's talk about what you really get for all that. So you get a tilt steering wheel. You get, this is kind of nice, you get telescopic steering wheel. 
We saw how the power top worked. Uh, this has cruise control. This has uh, uh, the AM FM cassette, but it also has the equalizer built in. It was their symphony sound. Climate control right here. Has this really cool traveler trip computer that can give you, uh, you know, average miles per gallon, um, how long you've been on the road, what time you should arrive. I mean, it was pretty uh, high tech back in the day and still works pretty well as well. Um, it's got uh, the Twilight Sentinel, which can uh, turn the lights on automatically or give you a time delay when you get home. You turn off the key, the light stays on so you can get back in the house. All the dash is clear. This is really nice. This is a fully like restored car uh, as it appears. I don't really know if everything's been restored, but it's in such great shape, I would find it hard to believe that it's all original, but you never really know. But the good news is we have the receipts for all the rebuilds of the, of the drivetrain products, so you're really getting uh, a nice car. And here's the good thing about it is you get this. Fires right up with the fuel injection. I got it on high for the air conditioning, and it really, uh, it really blows really cold. It works really, really nicely. But it's also got a nice little sound now because we put the dual exhaust on. Tell me what you think. These cars look so good with the top up, but they obviously they look even better with the top down. You know, closing up this video, this is, uh, this is a luxury car, but it's got some great stuff. We're talking about uh, the 4100 aluminum V8, uh, freshly rebuilt with fuel injection, climate control air conditioning, four-wheel power disc brakes, four-wheel fully independent suspension, power top, power seats on both sides, and windows, and locks, and cruise, and tilt, and twilight, and symphony sound, and whatever. I'm railing on and on only because you need to know that for the dollars that this car is, this is one of those cars you could keep forever and it never cost you anything to own. You know, it, uh, as these continue to rise in value, you know, they, uh, they taking over a place that, that other cars can't. You know, they stop this era of cars. They don't make this style anymore. And it's really a cool piece. You drive around this car and it's hard not to, to look at it and go, wow, that is a very elegant car. Anyway, if you can find a way to get an 85 Cadillac Eldorado be a Ritz, well-maintained with service records, call us 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get it in your garage.